Hello. Oh, I've got airplane wings. Um, hello again. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, then I'm so happy to meet. I'm so so tired today, but I need to get some things done. I've literally la, la, lied on the bed for about an hour trying to keep my eyes open. Probably the wrong thing to do when you're trying to stay awake. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know what I want to say. I've come out to get my eyebrows done. I was just overing up and um, I just couldn't, um, I can't even get my words out. What I was meant to say is I couldn't even find my motivation. So I've come out to get my eyebrows done, um, wax and tinted, hopefully that will wake me up. I'm um, due on in tot tomorrow, so I'm feeling all tired and emotional and bloated and hungry and you know where it is. So I'm just going to get my eyebrows done now. Got my eyebrows done, but still tired. I cannot wait for bed tonight. I'm really, really tired. Just come to pick up RJ. And then I'm going to go home. I'll probably do um, actually on this. Because I haven't really done much today on here. So I did want to get everything done, all the housework and everything. But, because I haven't, I think I'm going to do my holiday Q&A. So I'll speak to you a little a little bit later on. See you later. Hello again. So, it's quite late. Well, it's like 8 o'clock. Um, RJ is not long gone to bed. So I'm just about to do my holiday Q&A. And then... I'm going to bed. It's eight o'clock. I'm shattered. So, so question number one: How was your holiday? Did you enjoy yourselves? The holiday. Oh, sorry. The holiday itself was amazing. It was really, really nice. I just don't think it was long enough. Um. But yeah, we really enjoyed ourselves. Question number two. Where did you go? We went to Torquay in Devon. And we stayed at um, Torquay Holiday Park. Question number three. Where about did you stay on holiday? Sorry, I just answered that one. Torquay Holiday Park in Caravan. Eight or three. Question number four. What was the highlights of your holiday? Um, I probably have to say meeting up with family and seeing them after so many years. But the views, um, time together, quality time together. Um, RJ swimming. There's quite a lot, really, being together and meeting up with family. That was really nice. Um, number five, what beaches did you go to? We went to Torquay Beach, but we didn't stay on there. And then we went to Goodrington Beach in Paynton. And then we went to Paint and Sands, which was really nice. I really enjoyed that one. My mum really liked um, Godrington Beach. Um, RJ liked both. Number six. What was the caravan part like where you stayed? It was really nice. Yeah, I was really impressed with the caravan. And the um, the caravan part was massive. We finally got to walk all the way around it. I think it was on day six. Um, yeah, it was really nice. I really liked it. Number seven. Did you have to travel far from home? Um, three and a half hours. I suppose it could be worse. So not really that bad. Quite long for RJ, but yeah, it, was, it wasn't too bad. And um, we stopped halfway, which helped. 
a lot. Um, question number eight. What did you get up to on your holidays? So, day one. Day one. As soon as we got there, we went swimming. Me and RJ did. My mum watched. Um, then I did my caravan tour, which you would have seen if you watched my channel. Um, then once we settled a little bit, I, I packed a, well, unpacked a, a few clothes and hung them up. We went for food at the restaurant on the caravan site, which was really nice. The food was really nice, tasty. Um, day two. What did we do on day two? I think we did a bit of shopping because we got up. We got up. We obviously didn't have nothing in, so we went for breakfast at the restaurant, and then we went shopping. And then I think we just did a little bit of exploring on day two. Um, I can't remember whether we went swimming. Um, day three. No, we went to the nighttime entertainment as well. Yeah, we, on day two we went to nighttime entertainment. Uh, day three, we went to Godrington Beach for the day, which was really nice. Day four, we went to Paint and Sands and Park for the day, which that was really nice as well. Day five, I think we wanted to go to the model village, but... Oh, sorry. But um, it wasn't really disabled friendly, so it wasn't no good. We didn't go around it in the end. Um... I think we just went back and explored the camp, the caravan site then. Day six, we went to Penny Pennywell Farm, which was really, really nice. Um, if you're that way, I, I highly recommend the um, Pennywell Farm. Pennywell Farm, it's really, really good. Um, it really hands on with the animals and stuff. It's really nice. Ten out of ten for ratings for that. Um... Day six, what did we do? We met up with Becky and Margie, um, my step auntie and, well, my auntie and my step nan, I think. Yeah, my step nan and my auntie. Um, and we went for food. Um, my little baby cousin, um, Ivory came as well, which was really nice. And we went to see we went to see my granddad's uh, headstone first. Yeah, we went to see my granddad's headstone first, which was um, nice. Then we went for a carvery, which was really nice because we got to spend quality time before we came home the day after, and a bit more catching up. Um. Day seven, I've packed the rest of our stuff and we explored a little bit. I think we went for breakfast again that day, I can't remember. No, we didn't we have breakfast in the caravan because we didn't leave the caravan till after 11. And then we went for dinner before we travelled home. Question number nine. Did you get good weather when you went on your vacation? Yes. We had really, really good weather. It was 30 plus degrees, if that's how you say it. Um, I think we had a little bit of rain on day two, I think, or day three. Just a little bit in the morning and a little bit of spotting on another day. It wasn't really that bad and it was really, really hot. Which was good. Can't complain. Question number 10. Was the caravan park where you stayed all inclusive? We wasn't inclusive. We wasn't all inclusive. I'm not sure whether you can be all inclusive. I don't think so. But no, we wasn't all inclusive. 
Number 11. How would you rate your caravan? Holiday park, entertainment, food, laundrette, convenience store and swimming pool. Caravan, 10 out of 10. Holiday park. It was quite a lot of hills, so I'm going to say 7 out of 10. But other than that, it was really, really not a really nice caravan park. Entertainment. If RJ was a little bit older, I'd say 10 out of 10. But because of his age, he didn't really take it in much. He had a little bit of a dance and watched the shows a little bit. But he got bored after about half an hour or something like that. So um, at the moment, I'd say 8 out of 10 entertainment. The food. The price of the food, I'd say... 5 out of 10 because it was really expensive but the quality of the food I'd say 10 out of 10 because it was tasty to be fair the laundrette we never used it the convenience store was really pricey we only used it when we got there the day one we never used it again after that swimming pool 9 out of 10 I'd say question number 12 if you could have changed anything about your holiday, what would it be? Um, nothing. No, nothing. If I could change anything, I would have had a few more extra days. Because I, me personally, I don't think it was long enough. And that's it. That's all your questions answered. Yeah, now I've answered all the questions. I just wanted to say, you know how I was saying earlier, I got nothing done. Well, I've got to cl uh, clap for myself, praise myself really, because I managed to get today from this morning three loads of washing done. Now I've come back and it was all dry because I obviously packed it all on the line. So I folded it all up and managed to put it all away. So all in one day I've got three loads of washing done, dry, washed, dried and put away. So I'm so pleased. Well... I've got this little bit to put away, which I'm going to do now. And then I'm going to get my dramas on and get in bed, because I'm tired. Okay, lovelies, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.